Gaffer, thank you very much for joining us. I think before the game had you offered us a point, we'd have taken it, but under those circumstances, it's a little bit gutting, isn't it? Yeah, disappointing. All the lads' heads down in the dressing room. But I said, they're nothing to be, you know, nothing to be ashamed of today. They give everything. Um, goalies played well as well, but we could have had two or three goals in the first half. We had some great chances. That's disappointed me, the things in the second half where we broke and just bad pass instead of just keeping the ball, you know. But to concede what first minute in the second half, you know, you know you're going to go be up against it. But I thought we defended really well, if I'm honest, and disappointed at the end to concede. With the, the run we've been on, the fact that we're, we're five games unbeaten now, this isn't a, a bad point in the grand scheme of things. It's one of those where if you sleep on it and the day after it, it, the result will probably got a little bit better than it feels at the moment. Absolutely, I'm delighted. Like I say, we've got 11 points from five of the toughest games you'll ever get. So, uh, you know, we've we, we just got to stop feeling sorry so not tonight. We're all naturally giving a goal away late on like that. But, uh, you know, they've, they've done. I can't get any more out of this group of players. They're, they're, they're giving me absolutely everything. It was strange because it was almost backwards compared to the other games we've been in. We went 2-0 up we, and then the second half wasn't as good as the first half and that's been the other way around. I'm, I'm not sure about you, but I think I, I hit just about every second of that second half. Yeah, I think that's because of the opposition. You know, the 2-0, they've got nothing to lose, really. Um, so they've got to come at us and when they get a goal as early as that it's you know it's bound to give you a lift into it so once they scored I think everybody in the crowd and myself knew that we were in in for a long afternoon but all credit to the lads I thought they defended really well and like, Thomas pulled a couple of good saves off um, and then at the end probably probably unlucky to, to not to win it there was uh, a couple of performances in there again that were you know really promising. Josh Karoma running out was good. David Kasumu was putting his, his head and body everywhere. Matty Pearson and, and Jack Rodoni were more gold. That they're positives that we can we can build on going forward again, isn't it? Yeah, and I thought two centre halves were good today as well. I thought I can't fault anybody. I think everybody put a shift in, and you know I think that since I came here, I just said, look, if you give me everything on the field of play, I'll, you'll never hear me criticise you, and and I don't think anybody could be criticised today. No, I think the, the fans agreed as well because they were on their feet and it was a, a warm round of applause at full time as well. And, and when you've gone 2 0 up and, and not won the game, that kind of shows that they knew we'd, we'd left everything out there. Yeah, I mean, you know, absolutely. It's, uh, as I've said, I think they know that I'm getting every, every ounce of effort out of this team, the group of players. They're a good, good group of players as well. So I am enjoying it. Yes, we're all disappointed because you know it would be lovely to have three points, but that's that's football in the championship. Now we've got to have a couple of days off and get ready for Swansea now. Perfect, Neil. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you. Oh.